sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Can I make fun of myself for like a smidget of a second? I have to, I just have to get this out of the way. I find my blind confidence to be quite endearing. There is just something so interesting about the fact that I have moved through life thinking I was that bitch since birth, even when I looked a hot mess. And you wanna know something? I really love that about myself. I think it's super cute. And at times it can be really helpful. Being confident is honestly something that a lot of people strive to be and strive to have and for some reason I always was that even when I looked my absolute worst. Being that I am 26 and although age doesn't necessarily always have to play into everything, when it pertains to my glow up it does because I think for many years I was always trying to find my own unique style and look and just always trying on a bunch of different vibes. I had a wig era where I would do colorful wigs, blonde wigs, long bust down crazy looking wigs and I also would just play in makeup and make myself look like a different person every single year. And same with my style. I really did just dress however I wanted to. And although I loved my own personal style and I was super confident about it, I definitely wouldn't use the word put together or polished to describe myself back then. I find that I am getting so much better at dressing for my body, for my lifestyle, for the way that I like to wear my hair and my makeup. And there is actually an art to looking put together. Together. I have spent the better half of 2023 really just working on myself and losing weight, getting my image together. And now 2024 is all about how to just make myself a little bit more polished and respectable to my imagery of myself. I have a specific vision in mind when I think of Haley Gamba 2.0. I think about someone who's elegant and posh and polished and has a little bit of her own originality and taste here and there, but there is just things that always work. There's just things things that always look good and universally look good on everyone. And I am starting to realize that the older I get, which is why I wanted to make a video on how to look good every single day. I hope my tips and tricks can inspire you, can enlighten you, can maybe give you guys some ideas. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you like this type of content from me and also follow me on Instagram. All right, let's get into how to look put together every single day. It's the new year and I would hate for you guys to go a whole nother year without prioritizing your mental health. And as someone who has been getting closer to my happiest and healthiest version of myself, it is at the top of my priority list, feeling good, looking good, and just being internally well. And there is no better sponsor to talk about today than BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an amazing way to access therapy in an easy and quick way that best suits your lifestyle needs, whether it's over the phone or video chat or even through text message. You can speak to your therapist in any way that you are the most comfortable and I personally love to do it over phone call. BetterHelp can match you with one of their 30,000 different therapists in less than 48 hours due to your lifestyle, your preferences, and location. And what's so great is you can interchange out your therapist if you feel like someone is not as suitable for your needs and they allow you to be able to do that so you can find someone who best suits your personality and who you feel most comfortable speaking with. It's super simple to get started. All you're gonna do is fill out a questionnaire where they ask you questions about the things that you're going through, different challenges that you have, a little bit about yourself and why you feel like therapy is right for you, and they will match you with a therapist with absolute quickness. I think my favorite thing about BetterHelp is they are really accommodating to your lifestyle needs and your preferences when it pertains to time and when you're able to speak. So for me, I just think it's a great way to avoid going into pesky waiting rooms, driving to a therapist, and just not really having the time to create that interpersonal connection so that this is a great way for you to be able to speak to someone in a time window that is most convenient for you and you will get the most out of your sessions. As someone who has used BetterHelp, I am such an advocate for it, and I think it's a great way to be able to access therapy in the comfort of your own home. So if you guys are looking forward to the new year and you would like to get a hold of your mental health, then I will leave everything you need to know about BetterHelp down in the description box and on the screen. And go to betterhelp.com 
betterhelp.com slash Haley to get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp using my link so that you are able to get some money off. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the rest of today's topic. So let's first talk about hair. No matter your hair texture, length, or color, it is all about making your hair look sleek. If you wanna look put together every day, sleek hairstyles are what's going to make you look beautiful. Now let's just say you have curly hair and you love to wear it in its natural state. Make sure you have a hair routine that makes it look really plush and beautiful and voluminous. Let's just say you have straight hair and you want to look more presentable and put together. Make sure it's sleek, make sure it's clean, make sure you add some body, maybe some layers. There's so many things that we can do. What I did number one was I stopped wearing wigs. Wigs were not making me, Haley Gamba, look good. I did not look good with wigs because I gravitated towards wigs that were funky. That was just it, that was it. And let me tell you something, the wigs that I wore were top tier. I loved my wigs. I purchased my wigs from the best wig dealer, in my opinion, that I've ever come across, and they lasted me a really long time. But as someone who's just trying to get closer to looking more put together, more polished, more elegant, and just kind of stepping into my wifey era, it was really all about natural for me. I do quick weaves and I do clip and extensions. You guys know me, I like to alternate from short to long. I don't think either one looks better than the other. It's all about keeping it sleek. I am sitting in my car because we have a late night appointment with Tasha. Um, hair poofy and all, honestly it's a vibe. It's giving my boy aesthetic. Let me not trigger the girls now, let me not trigger the girls. Um, but, yeah like give it. Come on, Northeast girls do it best. Okay, don't play with it, Jersey girls. Um, but yeah, late night appointment really wasn't supposed to be getting my hair done tonight, just to getting done the day, but um, hair didn't get delivered until super late, so here we are. I'm so excited though, I'm about to have a bust down, a little middle part. I wanna just have a protective style for a little bit. Um, that's pretty much how I preserve the life of my hair. Sorry that I didn't bring my good camera with the mic. I'm still getting used to it. No, we no. Not me getting special treatment now at the Nori Nor Hair Salon. Today we are going to be getting a quick weave with Touched by Tasha Mack. I have been getting my hair done by Tasha since 2018. She is my tried and true. If I didn't have her, I'd probably be flying out of state. We are going to be picking out our bundles. I have the most gorgeous hair installed today. It's the raw Vietnamese hair. Go for the raw, guys. The raw hair will give you that more effortless, beautiful, it's your real hair look. And I am getting a quick weave because your girl hates sew-ins. As much as they are convenient, they hurt my head, and I like to change my hair often. So we are sitting under the dryer molding the cap while she brings me a snack. Guys, it's giving special treatment, and I got myself these little pop chips, even though, you know, I really wanted the nerds, but I was like, let me do the quote-unquote healthier option. She took those beautiful bundles and installed them in my hair so quickly. I think it took her like a whopping 20 minutes. And we're back under the dryer. As you guys can see, I am less than thrilled, but it's okay. We are going for the Cleopatra vibe under the dryer. <laughs> I love this hair so much. It's so beautiful. It's so thick, root to tip. And look at how shiny it is. Like that is the raw hair for you. She loves her overexposed lighting. I don't know what's going on, but we wanted the effortless blowout curls. Look at these rollers, okay? I honestly do my hair like this at home, so I told her, I'm like, I want that old money glam, that beautiful effortless curl, like you just blew out the hair, and she killed it, guys. Look at how beautiful, and the end result, oh my God. Stop playing with me, hello? Tasha just got done doing my hair. We've been shooting the shit, so we didn't really film, but don't worry, don't worry. We got a reel coming. We have... <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> She's she's my my longest friend outside of high school, pretty much. Yes, I knew her before y'all Yep, beautiful. I wish I had the light on still. Oh my god. Wait, let me. When I had now people come here and be like, oh my god, was Haley here? Haley was here. Hair came out beautiful. It's very like natural, old money. Blowout vibes, you know, she knows that I want uh, the things that the other girls ain't getting, okay? Because there's nobody like you in Jersey. No one. You do. And look at how beautiful her spot is, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
All right, I'm going home and I'm going to bed. Finding a part, whether it's a middle side or whatever that frames your face best. If you like to cover up your forehead because it creates a little bit more of an illusion that you like, wear some side bangs. If you like to show your beautiful face, do a middle part. I love middle part. I love flat at the top, body in the bottom. That is just how I like to wear my hair because if I have too much volume up here, my head looks massive. Like I'm talking, my head looks bigger than life itself. How to look put together every day can really be something that looks like it took you no time, but maybe it did. Going back to my natural hair color and a length that suits me best. I don't like to wear hair too long anymore. That hits my butt. I don't find that to be the classiest look on me and it just doesn't suit me well. So keeping the hair at a decent length and with a good amount of body, not looking too stringy or dead, this is how I've been able to look put together every day. And honestly, I wear heatless curls at night with a bonnet, take down my hair in the morning and boom, I'm ready to go. I love that I can just wake up, shake and go. Okay, next up, let's talk about nails. I actually need to get my nails done because now that I have short nails, I do think the upkeep for me with short nails is a little bit more because I tell my nail tech to make them really thin. I don't like super thick, chunky short nails, so I do have to get them done a little bit more so that they don't chip as often, but short nails, beautiful, 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 elegant look. I used to think that short nails would make my fingers look weird. I didn't realize that my weight was actually affecting how my fingers looked. I thought that those were just my fingers. So I always preferred long, very thin nails because I thought that it made my fingers look skinnier. But now that I lost weight, I also lost weight in my hands and I do not mind short nails. Short nails are more elegant, they're more effortless, and they're easy with anything. What I love about my tips today is it really is able to be interchanged from multiple different jobs, lifestyles, and whatever. Whether you're a mom and you're always using your hands with your kids, or you work in a high demand environment that has to do with your fingers a lot, or you are always just doing things, touching things a lot, you want to make sure that your nails are shorter and easier to maintain. Now, let's just say you like to go for a longer nail look. Find a shape that best suits you. When I was doing long nails, I was always doing crazy colors, crazy designs. And I have found that what's making me look more put together these days is going for a very basic look. Whether it's a French or a pretty solid color, I have found that getting closer to a color palette that best suits my skin is important. So I really do love pastels on my skin, whites, creams, and dark chocolatey browns and grays. So beautiful with my skin. And now that I do short nails, I see the fascination. And I might even get into Russian manicures real soon. But keeping the nails and the toes looking effortlessly beautiful is so important to me and it really has cleaned up my look. I get so many compliments when I go out on my short nails. I used to think, oh my God, people are gonna find me so boring. But when you get older, you realize like you don't need to have bows and glitter in this every time you get your nails done. Sometimes going for the more simple look actually looks the best on you, the most elegant and the most classy. Now let's get into skin because this is huge. <music> You wanna look more put together every day and you wanna look more polished, you have to get your skincare in order. Depending on whatever you're going through and dealing with when it pertains to your skin regimen, you really want to attend to that. Okay, come with me to get a facial at the Skin Lounge. So this is huge in my journey to keeping myself looking put together. Skincare at home is important, but skincare out of the home, going to an esthetician, seeing a dermatologist, these are all crucial and essential. I have been going to Carolyn for several years, I wanna say about four years now. She and I became really great friends and I get my routine hydrofacials every single month. I don't even believe I've missed a month. I have noticed my skin just getting better throughout the years. I dealt with a lot of issues when I first started coming to her and now my skin is so much brighter, more youthful. I deal with a lot less texture and I just feel like every month it just completely rejuvenates my skin. She gives me a hydrofacial. Also sometimes we'll do like very low downtime peels and my skin just looks so much brighter, so much healthier, and so much happier. So if you want to look put together and your makeup to go on smoother and for your skin to look better and to wear less makeup, getting facials is really essential and should be a part of your routine. 
I have found skincare that works for me. I make sure that I do it daily. I make sure that I'm using dermatology grade ingredients. Okay, so this Paula's Choice exfoliate has completely changed my skin. This is a liquid exfoliant. It has salicylic acid in it. I feel like it makes my skin look more plush. It doesn't have so much texture and I don't get acne as much. So this has changed the game for me. I'm also obsessed with this Murad toner. It's just such a great toner for the skin and it helps with acne prone skin, which I love. The Marie Collagen and Retinol Deep Moisturizer has been such a crucial part of my routine because anything with retinol, I am always going to gravitate towards. It's the perfect moisturizing, hydrating moisturizer that actually does something for the skin, keeps it youthful and smooth. And I feel like my skin looks the best it's ever looked. So my esthetician put me onto this and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's very expensive. It's the Zoe Skin Health AOX Serum. I don't know guys, I don't know what's in this. I don't know why it's so great. Um, she used it on my skin when I went to her and then I was obsessed with it and ended up buying it. It feels like it's like an illuminator. It's kind of like strobe cream, but in a moisturizer slash skincare product. I feel like my skin looks hydrated and products sit better on the skin. And it's just overall giving me a more youthful glow that I'm not used to when it pertains to my skincare. You never wanna skip your lips either. I feel like this is a part of skincare as well because it makes your face and everything look more put together. So this is something that I put on every single day, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It is just so amazing, guys. And I just feel like it's a perfect way to even just make yourself look more dolled up before you leave the house. You put a little bit of this on, do your skincare, and you're out the door. You heal the skin, you fix the skin, the skincare looks amazing, the makeup will look even better. The better your skin looks, the more youthful you look, the more elegant you look, and the easier time you're gonna have with makeup application and getting out the house. Now, elegance and looking put together every day really has to do with makeup. This is actually a clip from me back in, I wanna say 2020. My makeup is just a little bit overdone. This is me actually back when I lived in my old apartment, so not that long ago, and this is me on the left a few months ago when I still wasn't really sure of my makeup routine. I was doing two warm of colors on my lids and not picking the correct lip shade, and on the right is me now. So I'm gonna show you guys my full updated makeup routine that best flatters my skin and makes me look polished every day. I always go in with my hourglass foundation I make sure I get a color that is similar to my skin tone and I really like this shade I believe it's golden tan it is really amazing and I like the way that this foundation blends in I'm actually going in with the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and what I like about this concealer is it's actually a pretty medium to light coverage for an everyday look, I don't necessarily want super crazy bright under eyes that are just too much, not anymore. So that is what I'm doing now. And my contour is the Refi Contour. And don't worry guys, I will list all the shades and products down below in the description box. Now, a huge part of looking polished every day is really just blending out everything. I have been on a blending journey. I think before I would just have very harshness, harsh lines and everything on my face. And now I really just take my time. I want the makeup to look like it's my skin, but better. Of course, I want it to be a little bit more of an elegant, classy look. I don't really love super, super natural looks on me, but I want it to look effortless. Now we're going in with the Laura Mercier powder. I swapped out the Laura Mercier translucent powder to the Laura Mercier ultra blur translucent in honey. This is just a little bit better because I think it's just a little bit more complimentary to my skin tone. My NARS bronzer is super broken, but this NARS bronzer is my favorite. It can get a little muddy, a little dark, but I make sure I really blend it out well. And I just wanna create a little bit of color to my face. Now this Dior palette has changed my life. I actually picked this back up recently because I found that I was constantly reaching for more warmer tones. And even after doing my color analysis, I realized that cooler tone browns and grays actually look better with my skin tone and my hair. So I just kind of go in with the Dior, pick the darkest shades and just blend them out. I still really love doing black in the waterline and in the tight line. It just makes my eyes look a little bit more awake in my opinion and brings out the browns in my eyes. Now this is huge for me. I take shadow from the Mario, um, the Makeup by Mario palette and I completely wing out and try to make my eyes look a little bit more awake and less droopy. I tend to notice that if I don't do a nice sharp look that my eyes can look a little bit less awake and not as open. Then I go back in with the Dior palette and I take a little bit of that glitter shadow that they have in there and use my finger and blend it into the lid. Now we're going in with 
that makeup by Mario palette again, guys. I actually use this palette for multiple parts of my look. And I'm carving out my eyebrows. I use that shade that I showed you guys and I'm just completely doing my brows with this. I don't use brow products. I don't even use, you know, liner anymore, guys. I'm using this palette for a lot. I used it to wing out my shadow. I used it for my brows and I'm also gonna be using it for my lips. I have noticed that recently I like when my eyebrows are a little bit thicker and darker, so that's what I've been doing. And it is more complimentary to my makeup routine. I no longer do an eyebrow shade that's like lighter than my hair. I do one that is around the same kind. This rare beauty blush has changed in my life. It's a liquid blush. You can do it after you do foundation and contour. I like to do it after powder. I really don't care. It blends in perfectly. And this is in the shade Joy. I like the peachy undertones. Very, very, very beautiful with my skin tone. And it looks super natural in my opinion, which I like. And you guys know I like an intense blush, but I'm learning to tone it down just a little bit. Then I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I try to contour my nose a little bit more. I found that I lost a lot of weight in my nose as well, but I still want to make my nose appear a little bit smaller and it definitely does when I contour it. So I really love that and I think it just makes it look really great with my face. I go back in with that Laura Mercier translucent powder and carve out my nose and my smile lines just to create that, you know, youthful appearance. I notice that I'm able to kind of blur out parts of this face that tend to get a little bit creased. And then I go back in with blush. I take the NARS blush in a more. It's absolutely my favorite at the moment and just kind of top the rare beauty with that. Then I'm kind of blending out all the powders and making sure that the face doesn't look chalky. And I'm going back in with that makeup by Mario palette guys and I take a brown shade and do my lips. This has given me the appearance of my lips not looking super crazy or overdone. And I like to keep my natural lip shade by just topping it with Patrick Ta lip gloss. And I just think that this makeup look is very complimentary to my entire face, to my skin tone, and brings out my features in such a great way. I'm just curling the front pieces of my hair. That's what I do every day. And that is the finished look, guys. Now I'm sure you guys are gonna know what this next point is and it's weight loss. I've been talking about this on my channel because I'm super passionate about it. I know that sometimes it can be like beating a dead horse, constantly repeating the same thing over and over again, but this is really new to me still. Losing this amount of weight has opened my eyes to a new sense of respect that I even have for myself and appreciation that I have for my body and what I look like. As someone who was always confident, I have never thought that my confidence would be validated the way it has recently. I realize now that it was a lot of faking it till you make it. And you know what? Nobody ever talks about Faking it till you make it can actually make you lie to yourself as well. I was dealing with weight issues for a very long time that were causing me to have weird social encounters and anxieties. I was not dressing properly for my body. I wasn't looking as put together as I would have liked. And I just felt sloppy a lot of the times. You look more polished and put together in jeans, in shirts, in crop tops, in bathing suits, in more covered up clothing. You don't feel the need to always show off skin because your body is fit and toned. I don't know what it was for me that I would always correlate weight gain with showing more, but I would always have an improper look to my chest area. My boobs were always looking out of place. My stomach was always looking out of place. I just would be suffocating in my boots because my calves were so big because of the weight gain that my boots would not fit me properly. There were so many different factors that really were affected in looking put together with my weight. Once I got my weight under control, my body under control, I started to look better already. Oh. Look at you, okay, not the stretch manager though. Hi Melissa. Blurs the background. We outside. 
Oh my god, you have me looking skinny because you're so tall. <laughs> I love we this. outside. So with this machine is two cables, so it's really 140. Um, with the dual cables, the number you see kind of indicates indicates um, wow. how much is in each cable. Mm -hmm. So it's 140. I should have got myself a towel. You got some what? A towel. I'll go get it. Thank you. Fun okay, fact, we're both cancers. We're like three days apart, too. You know, perfect form because she learned from the best. <laughs> has a body like one thank you I mean the contraction in the form anyway I know plus I'm fasting so yeah. got the dead that's going on and the belt flip nice give me a little squeeze at the bottom good
looked way more put together when I would lose weight. I would try on a dress that was more covered up and modest and I would see my figure in it and go, wow, this is so sexy. Where before it would be too covered up for me. I almost felt like I had to show a little boob or a leg or a butt to really show off that I was sexy. But now that I got my figure under control, I realized there's such a sexiness and covered up in elegance and in modesty. And I didn't realize that or understand that prior. So the weight loss really opened my eyes to that. I feel like I look more put together. My clothes aren't ill-fitting and things just look better the more you slim out. You don't have excess stomach fat hanging over. Your jeans fit you nice. You don't have like a fupa in your jeans. Like I would have a fupa in my jeans. I hated it. I hated it. It was just so bad. And now that I've lost weight, I feel like the clothes just sit on the body effortlessly and gorgeously. And I'm having so much fun with fashion right now. Now on the topic of fashion, number five is all about intentional dressing. Now, I don't want any of my curvy girls who are watching this to feel like, damn, I really have to lose weight to look put together every day. And the truth is you don't. I think for me, my weight was affecting me looking put together because I did not think that I was really that big. So I was dressing super improper for my body and I wasn't paying attention to detail. Where had I just accepted that I was a more curvier girl and a little bit on the bigger side, I probably would have dressed a little bit more elegant for my body shape. But now that I have lost weight, it has opened my eyes to a new self-awareness that I didn't have prior. And intentional dressing is a big deal. And what I mean by this is finding clothes that fit your body, finding colors that are flattering on your skin tone. I now realize that color analysis is super important for looking put together because if you're wearing a muted tone when your skin does not like muted tones or you're wearing a bright color and your skin doesn't or a color that just doesn't best suit your skin, it really does affect how to look put together. Also a perfect way to look put together when it pertains to intentional dressing is just making sure that you're dressing for the season at hand. Don't dress improper for the season. That naturally will make you look weird. So like if you're wearing like a bandage dress that looks like it's meant to be for summer or spring and you're trying to make it work in winter, it could naturally just make you look less put together. But of course, making sure that you have an originality and a style that best suits you. I just know for me personally, I have been finding certain sweaters and jeans and cord sets and things like that and dresses that are for the season that I like and knowing what fabric and textures and things like that look best for which season. This dress right here, the material, okay, there's dog hair all over it because as you guys can see, come here guys, I got two bays. What I love about this material is it's like perfect for the winter time because it's like that very thick, like cable net kind of like material. But this dress is a, um, how do you call this? A midi dress, like it hits pretty low. I'm gonna try this on for you guys so you guys can see it, but guys, I literally freaking poked a hole through this dress. Look, I'm gonna have to get that fixed because I love this dress, but like look, Right now I'm wearing it with Fendi heels. Like, let me show you guys what it looks like in the mirror. Hold on. By the way, I'm wearing no Spanx right now. So like if I wear Spanx, it will snatch me even more. Like it will probably snatch me like to like this. But like this is, oh my God, I can't believe I poked a hole in this guys. Like how embarrassing. But this is the dressy option. I love it. I just think it's super classy and modest and still sexy at the same time. You can even probably have it altered to like come up a little higher. And if you don't pick up a pointed toe heel, then you can do maybe like one that like shows the foot a little bit more. And I think it will look even sexier. So this is kind of giving. Okay, so for athleisure guys, I have found the perfect white for my color palette. So remember I told you guys that you wanna do, you know, color analysis when it pertains to your tone and you guys can take like a free quiz on that or just like study up on it but I'm a deep winter so something that I've learned is that like really pretty bluer toned stark whites look better on my skin which I, it couldn't have been more right because when I purchased this I did it prior to finding out that I was a deep winter and I'm like this white is perfect like why don't they make whites like this anymore like they're always making creamier whites where like I do still like nude on me but if you like look at this versus this you can see that my features just pop even more so i'm gonna put this on for you as well it's from aloe yoga this little set and i feel like this with like a pair of sneakers and just kind of going out is just so cute and you guys would love this okay look at this set from aloe guys like this is so gorgeous with like a pair of sneakers and you know maybe even like you know you can zip this up you can do a cardigan you can even get maybe like a matching white zip up i didn't see one at the store when i went and i'm gonna go back and look because i would love to just tie the look together with a white one that matches this though i don't want like a creamy white but like look at this stark white against my skin and my hair and it fits really nice it looks to me like an elevated version of athleisure flattering for my body looks nice still kind of gives 
everyday wear, like day-to-day, -day, athleisure, more elevated, more classier. Granted, I'm like trying not to do like the stomach out, hence the reason I have like a zip up. So I would probably like rock it like this, put a pair of sneakers on and call it a day. Gra grab like a bag, like wait, let me grab a bag for you guys. You guys can see the full vibe, get the Chanel. Just put the Chanel over. Honestly, I probably wouldn't pick this bag. I'd probably pick like my white YSL, but like, boom, and you're good to go. And it's so cute, I'm obsessed. I think this set is like timeless. Um, getting it dirty is a little bit scary, um, but you know, just OxyClean it, you know what I mean? Just like get some OxyClean and spritz it down and make sure it stays and holds up its white color because this, it's giving. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I don't think so, I'm not kidding. Now I don't want you to think that you have to only settle for like boring pieces. Just because we're doing intentionality and we're dressing a certain way doesn't mean it has to be boring, right? So I got this sweater, I bought this from Nordstrom. Let me try it on for you guys because I want you guys to see. Like I personally love orange on me and this is a little bit more of like a peachy orange which I'm actually not 100% sure if this shade is for color analysis is like the best for my skin, but I tried it on in the dressing room with a pair of like really light wash denim and it looked gorgeous. Like I'm obsessed with this. So like you can wear this with a pair of jeans and it's still fun and flirty. I think it's like the perfect amount of sexy. Sometimes I hate like when things are choking me out. Granted, I love a good turtleneck. I love a good like mock neck, but sometimes you just want to like free flow without being like boobyish and everything. So like this is the perfect sweater for that. Like. Envision this with some jeans like it's just so good and even the sweater that I'm wearing in today's video guys It's from 525 from revolve. Don't worry. I'll link it down below But it's just like this tie around sweater that to me is like Gorgeous and wait, I want to show you guys one more thing I got a really cute coat from revolve and I've been meaning to get a coat like this for the longest time and it's a long pea coat in like a cream color. Now, like I said, this particular white isn't as flattering on me as stark white. As you guys can see, like I want you guys to see the color analysis. Like look at this white and then look at this one. It's pretty, but it's not as gorgeous, not as bright. But I really wanted to get a cream colored coat just to wear with like other things that I have because I have so many like colorful coats. I also have a lot of black coats. I don't have like a white or cream coat and I just was not willing to go for like this color white in a coat at the moment maybe like a fur but i am so happy with this purchase like it's so long it fits true to size this is a size medium and it's the perfect amount of oversize that i needed for a coat and it's light but like for me i don't like super heavy coats every single time just because it's winter doesn't mean it needs to be heavy all the time so this is perfect for me i feel good i'm obsessed and i think that you know just making sure that you're buying good pieces good bags good shoes good coats boom you're good also accessorizing who knew accessories can really make you look good? As you guys can see, I'm wearing these beautiful earrings that I actually got on Etsy, and don't worry guys, I will be linking everything. This necklace that you guys always ask me about was actually a gift from my parents, and I asked them to replicate Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City's necklace because her necklace was just my favorite, her Carrie necklace. So I pretty much got it in a very similar font and look that she got, but this is from a jeweler um, overseas, I believe. And then this necklace, I believe is from Lily Clasp, but I will link it down below if I can find the actual link. But making sure that you have jewelry and things that just make you look best and finding out what jewelry tones look good with you, whether you're a gold girl or a silver girl, I'm both. I love gold, but they say in color analysis that silver looks really good on my skin tone. So I do love silver, which makes sense because I have these beautiful studs. Hold on, let me show you. So I wear these studs almost every day and in every video, guys, and they're silver with like a diamond in the middle and they really make my features pop. I just purchased an Hermes belt. It's pretty much my first designer belt I've ever owned and I never was a belt wearer. I would literally wear jeans without a belt. The frumpiness of it all. I looked horrible. Like I want you guys to see the difference between me with a belt and me without a belt. Of course, there's some slight differences like weight loss and weight gain and all of this, but I want you guys to understand that a belt will tie a look together and different bags and things that you can carry with you clutches and shoes will really pull a look all the way together and coats and scarves and hats so keep in mind that intentionality is important in looking put together okay this is something that is huge for looking put together and it's something that it took me a very long time to grasp and understand but it's that undergarments are crucial important and necessary 
If you wanna look put together, you need to have underwear, tummy control panties, butt lifting panties, good bras, essentially shapewear. These are things you wanna focus on. You do not want to have an ill-fitting bra or no bra at all when you know that if you don't wear one, your boobs are gonna to hang to the floor, they're gonna be going two different ways, and they're gonna be like sloppy under your clothes. So this is the current shapewear that I have actually, guys, and it's from Honey Love. They actually sponsored a video of mine forever ago, and I'm obsessed with their shapewear. It's the most smooth, it doesn't roll down, and I love that the back has like no compression in the booty, so you're able to still have have a butt while still cinching in the waist and the hips so this is my favorite shapewear I use it every time I wear anything and the bras that I wear are all skims and I will leave the link down below I used to never wear certain bras or have my boobs properly lifted for certain outfits and it really made the outfit look like absolute shit on me it's all about being comfortable in your body and presenting yourself a way that feels more polished and elegant to you and for me I was so unaware and had no idea that it was looking terrible but now reflecting back I'm like girl Dumb things were going two different ways and you were just letting them free ball. Now I understand the importance of a bra, the importance of tummy control panties, the importance of spanks, the importance of shapewear, tights, 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 tights during this time of year. When I wear a short dress, I always wear tights now. I never really have my leg out in the winter time because I feel like it's not super appropriate for the season. And that is just something that I'm learning as I'm growing and it just makes me look more polished and elegant. So this is important to me, but undergarments are going to change your entire look. You're not fat, you're not ugly, you're just not wearing shapewear that makes you look smooth and gorgeous under a dress or an outfit. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got something out of it. I know for me, I'm probably gonna make this video again in five years. Maybe I'll look back at today and go, girl, you looked a hot ass mess then. And honestly, I hope it happens because that means that I'm always elevating and getting better with age. And that is the goal, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get better with age, let's get more self-aware, and let's start looking good for us. Looking like the best, sexiest, highest version of ourselves. And I'm telling you, you are going to be received so well, not only through the eyes of others, but you're gonna be received well for yourself, which is the most important. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got something out of it give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone Mwah.